Hi, okay, I know that you may think that's okay to override your spindle speed. I'm Alexander Schiassos and today we're going to talk why you should think twice before you perform a spindle speed change while you run a program. Okay, before we start, I would like to tell you that today's tip will be based on core knowledge about machine parameters and their definition. So, if you don't know much about cutting speed and feed per tooth and how they relate to the spindle speed and tool speed rate, I strongly advise you to go to our website cncseminars.com where you can find two articles that will explain these two parameters. You can find the relevant links to these two articles in the description below. Ok, given that now we all know about the basics of the definition of cutting speed and feed per tooth, here you can see the two basic formulas that relate these two parameters to the programmable feeds and speeds. So, in order to calculate the spindle speed we use the first formula and then given the result we use the second formula to calculate the programmable feed rate. Alright, having understood the basics, let's discuss the main point of this video. So, what happens when we override the spindle speed? Note that in order to override the spindle speed, you have to adjust the relevant option of the controller, usually by pressing a button or by turning a knob. First of all, let's see what happens when we override spindle speed and increase its value. As you can see by observing the first formula, when we increase the spindle speed, the cutting speed increases proportionally. This may lead to cutting speeds that are unacceptable for the given combination of cutting tool and machine material. On the other hand, when we decrease the spindle speed, the cutting speed also decreases, but the main problem occurs due to the affection of the initial spindle speed value to the already calculated feed rate of the tool. So, decreasing the spindle speed and keeping the feed rate of the tool constant means that the active feed per tooth will increase. This means that the active chip load will increase and this may lead to the breakage of the tool and even if the tool bears the load, it means that the deflection of the tool will be greater. So, to sum up, it has to be underlined that you have to think twice before you perform a spindle speed override as it affects both the cutting speed and the active chip load. And even if the cutting speed is within the specifications given the selected tool and the machine material, we may get other specifications regarding the acceptable values of the programmable feed per tooth. Ok, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or any questions, you can comment below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to our channel. If you like this video and you want to support this channel, you can share this video to other social media platforms. And of course, you can go to our social media accounts and see the content that we upload. And last but not least, you can go to our website, cncseminars.com, where you can find other articles about CNC machining. That's it for today, see you next time.